uh, one night uh, I wanted some barbecue and I went to Mills Barbecue on the east side of Detroit. Okay, when I was uh, teaching school at William Robertson Elementary School in Detroit, we later changed the name to Ma'at M. Hotel Technical Academy. I taught black history and culture, and uh, 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 one of my friends, Naja Ma'at, my dear friend, uh, she wears African attire, and she, wrote, she, she is a, 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 a cloth expert, a fabric expert, and she taught culture in the school, black culture. And so we had a great program going. Well, after I finished teaching there, uh, Spencer Haywood recruited me, the great basketball player Spencer Haywood, he recruited me to do an anti-drug program in the Brewster Projects. And our program ran all of the drug dealers out of Brewster Projects. And, uh, and uh, so uh, we did an excellent job. But uh, at a later date, uh, after, after I had left William Robinson, one night I wanted some barbecue. Uh, my audio technical academy. One night I wanted some barbecue, and the only place that I could get, uh, the, the place I wanted to go was Milt's Barbecue on, on Harper on the east side. And uh, I couldn't find anywhere to park. It was very dark that night, and uh, uh, I could find nowhere to park. So I parked about six blocks from Milt's Barbecue. Now, Milt was, was murdered a, a few months ago, a few years ago here in Detroit in, in his uh, business. But this was before he was murdered, but it was a rough neighborhood. But I wanted to barbecue so bad that night that I didn't mind walking six blocks in the dark to Milt's to get some barbecue. Well, at night, three boys, or three young men, or three men, I thought they were full grown men, uh, were coming toward me. And they were taller than me, because I'm short anyway, but they were, they were much taller than me. And I said, Lord, I had about $80 on them. I said, Lord, I said, this is going to be it here. I'm, I'm not going to be it. You better put your seatbelt on. I said, Lord, I'm, 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 I'm going to get wiped out tonight and look like these boys are going to kill me, uh, 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 beat me up. And I said, just don't let them kill me. I'll give them this money I got, and I'll, and I'll be finished with it. So anyway, <laughs> uh, when they got up where they could see me clear and I could see them, they hollered, Mr. Vaughn. I said, oh, Lord, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. And uh, they said, Mr. Vaughn, what you doing in this neighborhood? I said, well, I'm trying to get some barbecue because I love that Milt's barbecue. And they said, Mr. Vaughn, we're not going to let you walk up there by yourself because you taught us at my art M. Hotel Technical Academy and said, we never forgot the things that you taught us to do it and what you uh, said about our history. And, our and they said, we walking up there with you. They walked six blocks with me to the barbecue place, boys that I had taught. And when we got to the barbecue place, I asked them, do you want me to buy you something, to uh, barbecue dinner? They said, no, sir. We don't want nothing. We just want to make sure you're safe. They stayed there the entire time I was there, and they walked me all the way back to my car, and they said, Mr. Vaughn, we're doing this because we love you so much for what you did for us. And then I drove away, and they were still standing there until I drove away. That is a hell of a story, and that tells me that uh, what I was doing was not in vain. And, and that's what we should do everywhere, in every school, everywhere in, that we can. We gotta work together, we gotta fight together, and uh, we can do it, and we got to unite together. And we can't unite uh, being separated. We got to we got to come together for a a purpose, a a real purpose. That's the freedom, justice, and equality. Thank you so much.